great job. Um, I really, you know, that's, that's the way the sport goes. And uh, today was another great fight. Uh, two true gentlemen outside of the sport, two people who respect each other, but you see how fierce of competitors they are inside of the ring. And it is a pleasure for me now to call up to the podium a true champion, uh, one of the pound for pound best fighters in the world, no question about it. Uh, and that, in my opinion, by the way, does not depend on winning one fight or not winning one fight. That's who Carl Frampton is, pound for pound, one of the best, most exciting, most thrilling fighters in the world. And he showed that tonight. Show tonight again, so it really is an honor. I'm not going to me picture to of to to Carl you. Frampton. I'm not going to picture to what you guys were talking about, and then uh, they just started calling us over. Oh, God, okay, thanks, Richard. Uh, I, I would say I'm, I'm very disappointed. Uh, yeah, it was a good fight. I think me and Leo and I have had uh, 24 rounds of each other, and they've all been pretty competitive rounds. Um, it's one all now, so if, I, if, you know, if I'm going to look at any sort of positive out of this, we, we have to make it a trilogy. Um, it has to happen again. Um, Leo is a, is, a, is a tremendous fighter. Um, you know, he, he surprised me with his tactics tonight. I, I honestly didn't believe he, he could box like he did. He, you know, he, he was on the back foot a lot. And uh, I felt like, if I'm being honest, hand on heart, I think that, that Leo deserved the win. Um, I, I came back a couple of couple of rounds um, that were close. I thought I was doing doing pretty well in some rounds, and and Leo used his experience and stole them at the end. Um, last you know f burst in the last 15 seconds and stole the round. Um, and I believe that that he deserved deserved to have his hand raised. Um, so you know congratulations to the new champion. Uh, and, and hopefully he can do it again. I, I, I feel like I, I've came to the States twice now and Leo has said that he would do it in Belfast the third time. I hope, I hope he's a man of his word and uh, he can come and stay in my house if he wants and, uh, <laughs> and we, can, uh, we can get it on uh, for a third time and after that I can, you know, I, I would be happy to go to LA. Who, who knows, who knows, this could be three, four, five, who knows, they were great fights so Let's give the fans what they want, but well done and congratulations, Leo. Thank you. By the way, I'm sure he meant that, that Leo could stay with him. He didn't just say that. But that's the kind of, 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 of competitors they are. They really respect each other, and that's nice and refreshing. So welcome the new world champion, featherweight world champion, Leo Santa Cruz. Good night, everyone. I uh, just want to tell you that I'm very happy and I'm just glad that you know I got this fight. You know, Carl Front is a great fighter, a great man. I respect them. He gave me a hell of a fight. You know, I always said it. He has, he has everything. He has great skills, great power, great footwork. But this time, you know, I was I came with a great game plan. Uh, my dad, my brother, they, we work in the gym really hard because, like I said, I put in my mind that if I got if I lost to him twice, I was gonna maybe retire. Cause you know you're here to be the best, and if he beat me, what else was I gonna do? You know, if he better than me, I wouldn't wanna maybe fight no more. So, but you know, Carl Frampton, a great fighter, and like I said, if he wants, we gotta talk to my promoter, my manager, and if they wanna make it a trilogy, let's make it. You know, I'm up for it. I said I'm a man of my word, and. We just gotta come to an agreement. If they make it, I'll be happy to make it the third fight. But there are many options out there too. And yes, like I said, no, uh, I wanted to go out there and you know prove all those people that didn't believe in me, that they thought, you know, a lot of experts they were saying that I was gonna lose, that it was gonna be, you know, uh, a lot, not a lot for me, but you know. I say I gotta go out there, I gotta work hard to prove them wrong and thank God you know I did and I just went out there and did the perfect game plan. So I just wanna thank you, all the people that believe in me and that were rooting for me. Thank you guys. Thank you, Leo, any questions?
can you uh, have to give Dan the microphone? Hey Leo, congratulations. What another great fight that was. Uh, I don't know if you heard Carl when he came in. Uh, he said uh, you were a man of your word and, that, and as you said, you'd do it a third time. He said he's come to the United States twice, once in New York, once now here in, uh, in Las Vegas. He wants you to go to Belfast for the third fight. What are your thoughts about going to Belfast for the third fight? Like I, uh, hello? Uh, yeah, like I said, you know, um, like I said, I'm a man of a word and a real champion, a true champion will go anywhere. Because, you know, once we up in the ring, it's only me and Carl Frampton. And I know the crowd, may, you know, they're going to be all for him and everything. And it's going to be very hard, but, you know, if I go out there and if I, if I beat him and if they give that decision to him, I know the fans and everybody all over the world that sees it is going to see if I want it. But if he wins his fair and square, I give it to him and everything. But, you know, like I said, I'm willing to go up there. I don't care. A true champion goes anywhere. Leo, the, the, the fight was a majority decision again. It was very close. You won it. I don't know if you've had a chance to look at the scorecards. You won because you closed very strong. You won the last four rounds on two judges' cards. You won three out of the last four on the other, uh, the third scorecard. That's what gave you uh, the margin of victory. Did you feel like going into the last part of the fight that you were maybe behind and that you really had to pick up the pace and really get in there and, uh, and, and slug it out a little more than you had earlier in the fight with the boxing to, to get the job done? The truth, I thought I was really, you know, uh, the fight, you know, the first rounds, and I thought I won them. You know, I was boxing him and everything. There were close rounds that, you know, he put pressure and he got me good shots and everything. But, you know, I thought I was, I was winning the fight, you know, uh, and, uh, but I knew I, ha I couldn't lose not any rounds. You know, I had to, like, put it, like, clearly that win all the rounds. But, you know, uh, this is what it is, and I use respect to judges, and whatever it is, you know, I knew I, I won the fight. Carl, um, will you go, do you want to fight Leo in Belfast next, or do you want to fight someone else and then maybe get the Leo toward, you know, no, I, later? I, I, I want to fight Leo um, again, straight away. Um, you know, we, he done it, you know, I, I won the first fight, he won the second fight. Let's, let's just do it straight, straight away again. Um, my, I want to fight. I, I want to fight in Belfast next. That's what I want to do. I, I feel like I've been on the road for two years now. I haven't fought at home. My, my fans are having to pay a lot of money to come and support me, and I want to thank them first and foremost. They 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 come in their numbers, but they're paying a lot of money. I would like to repay them with a fight at home, um, and hopefully, hopefully that that can happen. But again, I think that uh, I think the decision was fair tonight. I think the decision was fair in the first fight, um, so you know, let's get it right and, and, and settle the score at number three. Great. And Leo, obviously having your dad back in the corner for the full camp, I know you believe that made a difference. What did you guys say to each other, uh, you know, in the ring after the decision was read, or maybe in the locker room? Any exchange of, that was significant? Um, you know, my dad told me that you know if I listen, if I did what he told me, that uh, you know I would win the fight. And he always told me, you know, if a hard fight, Carl Frampton, great fighter, but you, you could show that you're better than him, and that's what I did, you know, I went out there and did what I had to do, and we did it. <coughs> Good night for LA, too, with Mikey getting the belt, too. What's it like for you guys to bring those belts back to Southern California? I feel great, you know, like, you know, like I said, it feels like I was fighting for my first world title, that's what I had in my mind. And, you know, Mikey Garcia is a great friend, you know, I know him since amateur, we were in the team tournament. And thanks to Robert Garcia, you know, and him, uh, we signed, we turned pro and everything. And I guess, you know, we, we, they're a great family too and everything. So, you know, I really respect them and I'm really glad that they won the, the belt too. Hey, Leo, right here. Yeah. Um, you look to be a little winded uh, about midway through the fight and you, you seem to lose a little steam on your punches. Did, did you get a second wind or did you feel... Did you feel strong? The I, I didn't feel that. I didn't. I didn't sense him getting winded for this lady. So I, you know, you know, I was just, you know, being. I didn't wanna go out there and and throw more. You know, cause I was. You know, I didn't wanna get tired. I didn't want him to give him the. You know, cause I know if I didn't throw more stuff, he was gonna maybe win the rounds. And so, but yeah, I mean, I was taking you know my pace and everything, not to try not to get tired, cause you know, from the, he'll come out stronger and stronger. And you know, I used to do what I had to do, but yeah, maybe a little bit, but then I got my second win. Yeah. Carl, did you did you uh, feel there was a point in the fight when you knew you had to do something big to win? Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. I, I felt like I, I had a 
bad first round. The first round wasn't great for me and it wasn't the start that I wanted. Um, I kind of settled down and he came into it a little bit and then got a little bit silly at times. I think Leo was... A lot of the rounds were close, but he used his experience and he, and he stole the rounds right at the end and, you know, first in the last 15 seconds, last 10 seconds, and I was going back to the corner with my head down thinking 10 seconds before it was a half decent round and Leo had just stole it, but that's, that's experience for you. Um, but, you know, again, it was a close fight, but, uh, you know, hand on heart, I feel that the decision was fair and I think that uh, Leo won. How disappointed are you? I'm disappointed. I'm extremely disappointed. You know, I, I, I'm a winner. You know, I want to win. I want to win all the time. I, I, I come away uh, for a long time from my family. Uh, you know, I don't see my kids for a long time. I want to, I want to win for my kids. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed. Thank you. It was a good fight. Good question back here. Leo, back here in the back, Leo. Back here. Thank you. Okay, so first off, congratulations on your win tonight. If there's not a rematch clause, would you be open to fighting somebody like another Abner Morris fight or even a Gary Russell if he comes off with the win over in Scandon? Yeah, of course. You know, uh, the truth, uh, you know, I would like to give it a family because, you know, he deserves it. He's a great fighter, a great man. And like I said, you know, if, if the manager, if they come to an agreement and they make the third fight, uh, that was the first fight I would like to you know because. I, you know, I respect him, great guy, great man, and I would like to give him the third fight because he deserves it. But you know, I also said I would want to give the rematch to Abner Mares, uh, Unification against Liz, Liz LB, Gary Russell, Oscar Valdez, you know, any of them. I'm ready, I'm here to fight the best, I want to fight the best. And you know, no matter what order, uh, my manager is going to take care of that, and I'm just up here and I'm going to go to the gym and train, and whatever comes, I'm up for it. And first of all, congrats, Leo. Uh, the questions for Carl: Were you surprised at how skillful Leo used his jab? Uh, he, he did surprise me with his tactics. To be honest, I thought, you know, he he told me what he was going to do. He told me he was going to use his distance. I thought he was bluffing. I thought it was. Uh, I thought he was going to come out and just go head first. But um, he surprised me. Um, he, he's a he's a, a better boxer on the back foot than I give him credit for. Um, but, you know, Leo, Leo can do it all. Um, and, yeah, but it, it was a breath. I thought that I thought that he was going to come straight at me. Carl, it may, it may seem a, a criticism of you, but at, um, I know how critical you are of yourself. And congratulations, Leo. And, Thank and you. Carl, it was another great fight. Do you feel already that it was a below par Carl Frampton's fight? Uh, yeah, I, I feel like I had a I had a bad start in the fight. Um, I feel like maybe my feet weren't what they should have been, um, and I and I played to to Leo's game plan. You know, I'm the, I'm the boxer. I feel like I'm a, I'm a good boxing brain, um, and I was kind of coming forward trying to be the aggressor. Um, and it's I prefer people to come to me. And uh, you know, the game plan from from Leo's team was was good, and and they uh, yeah. I don't know. I I, 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 can't, I can't really make excuses. I had a, you know, a, a, an amazing training camp. You know, I have, I have an unbelievable coach with me, pushing me to the limit. I sparred well. I had no injuries. I made the weight fine, um, and it was a maybe a blue part performance. But the, the better man won on the night. Can I ask? I don't think it's toe to toe for twelve rounds. Is that right? I, I think so. You know, like that's what I want. I like to do. You know, I like to give the pants. A great fight. I like to go toe to toe because you know they're the one that deserve it. They're the one to deserve a, a great fight. But this fight, I had to be smart. You know, I had to do it for myself, and that's what I did. I went out there and did it for myself. Uh, I, you know, I don't know. Hopefully, I don't know. I don't. You know, the fight hasn't made it yet. Hopefully, a third fight can happen, and and we can come up with a game plan that, that gets the win. But um, I think Lee was bluffing again. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think that. Yeah. I think, uh, you know, both boxers will use their strengths and do what it takes, hopefully, to, to try and get the win. Okay, a couple more questions. Wait. Let's give you guys a rest. Sir? No. 
Felicidades, tengo que felicitarte doblemente. Primero que nada, darle gracias a Dios porque tienes a tu padre. Sí, claro. Y felicidades, Leo. Y felicidades por, por haber ganado esta magnífica pelea. Leo, a partir del quinto round se sintió bastante seguro tu gancho al hígado. Lo trabajaste muy bien y obviamente Frampton acusó de recibo varias veces. ¿Es un golpe que vas a seguir este, trabajando, Leo? Porque obviamente te ayudó mucho en esta pelea, sentiste que, que te ayudó el gancho al hígado. Sí, claro que sí, lo, ahí lo trabajamos este, y lo estuvimos agarrando y miramos que cuando estábamos agarrando al, al gancho al hígado, este, aflojó un poquito y se movió. Y hubo unos momentos que pensé que, que sí lo estaba sintiendo y que dije, a la mujer se lo puedo tumbar, pero es un gran peleador, aguanta bien. Y claro que sí lo vamos a seguir usando, pero hay veces que no se puede usar, ya que a veces el peleador se mueve mucho o algo, este, y si uno lo trata de tirar, se descuida y lo pueden agarrar uno con otro golpe. So, cuando lo tenga que tirar, cuando pueda, sí lo va a tirar, pero cuando no, no vamos a usar mucho. Bueno. Bueno. Oh, yeah, no, he was asking me about the, you know, the body shot. If, you know, that I was working and it was working for me. And I said that, yeah, you know, I saw that I was landing it good and uh, maybe I thought that I hurt him a little bit and he started going back. But, you know, Carl Frampton is a great fighter, a tough man. He took them really well. And if I have to use them, you know, there's some people that you can't hit them. You know, they're really they're smart. And if you throw them, they catch you with another punch. You're open to another punch. But, you know, I am going to use it a lot as much as I can. But with the people that I, that I can't do it, I'm not going to use it because it's going to leave me open for another punch. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I thought, you know, I didn't want to be, you know, get caught, you know, because, uh, you know, Carl Frum is a great fighter, you know, he's very smart, and he's, I knew that I went to the body who had tried to catch me with the uppercut, with the hooks, and I didn't want to be open for those punches, so I was, you know, smart, and when I saw him, that he was a little bit more tired, that's when I went for it. All right, thank you very much. Uh, let's give these guys a big hand of applause, and 